Following the Battle of Cherbi, tragic news was delivered to Guangzhou. Ma Tung of Xiliang had been killed in Xuchang. He had been found guilty of conspiring to assassinate Cao Cao and was executed. Upon hearing this news, his son, the brave young warrior known as Ma Chao the Splendid, was thrown into a fit of fury. And together with Ma Tung's sworn brother, Han Sui, he raised an army. Ma Chao descended upon Tong Gate with the fury of a dragon. Revenge. As he lay in wait for Cao Cao at Tong Gate, that single word was the only thought emblazoned upon Ma Chao's mind. The splendor that he was known for had now been replaced with unbridled rage. I wish he would settle down a little. He can't think rationally when he's all riled up like that. Vengeance will be mine. I shall slay Cao Cao so that my father may rest in peace. Lord Ma Tung was good to me. I will help his son get his vengeance. Leave the defense of the main camp to me. Cao Cao may have escaped us once, but he won't escape a second time. If Master Pong De is slain, then this battle is lost. If Master Pong De is slain, then this battle is lost. We can't forget that. Master Ma Chao scares me. Ever since his father was killed, he's been like a man possessed. Hey, shh. Did you know that Ma Chao's mother was one of the Chiang tribe? Really? I didn't know that. Perhaps that's why he's such a natural on horseback. Master Chung Yi is widely respected and his cavalry is known far and wide. Master Li Khan is just as well known. His horses are famous for their strength and stamina. Look at this horse. You can see every sinew. Our cavalry is without peer. No one can outrun us. Whatever happened to that Guo Jia? Is he dead? I'm glad we don't have to fight him. He was a nice guy, always throwing parties for everyone. I remember when we fought alongside Cao Cao. It's funny how things turn out. The infantry gets no respect, but we will show them what we're made of. I could take down a horse as easy as you like. An enemy horse, of course. The captain is jealous of the preferential treatment the cavalry gets. It's me. You know, I seem to see you everywhere I go. Oh no. Wait a minute. I don't know you. I like working for officers who treat their subordinates with respect. I wish they were also kind. The assassination of Cao Cao may have failed, but we have another chance. I swear I shall avenge my father's death. Of course, Master Ma Chao. Your father was my sworn brother. We can seek vengeance together. I am pleased to hear you say so, but weren't you once loyal to Cao Cao? That was a long time ago. Right now all I can think about is avenging your father. Forgive me. I didn't mean to doubt you. I am happy to know we share the same goal. Listen everyone, our mission is simple. We have come for Cao Cao's head! I will defend this main camp to the death if necessary. It'll be no use attacking them head on. 
I'll lead an ambush to cause confusion within Cao Cao's forces. We'll need to distract them then. We'll attack their garrison with Leon's famous cavalry. Han Sui and Cao Cao are old friends. There are rumors that the two are still on good terms. The enemy will be hoping Han Sui will betray him. Personally, I don't know what to make of him. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. best out here. Look. Oh, so you're the Ma Chao who wants to kill our lord. I'm afraid I can't let 
let you go. So you are my next opponent. I'm crushing like all of the others. What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. <laughs> Again. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I grow tired of your presence. You keep sending them. I'll keep knocking them down. I shall return. Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! You're the one that needs the hate for the sound sound. There's no way I'm gonna let you pass! This one is heroic! I guess I need to pick up the pace! It is impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty stomach. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I grow tired of your presence! I see you are more skilled in battle than your father was. Toto, halt! Calm down. It's too dangerous to pursue him any further. Curse him! I swear I will have my revenge.
My lord, what's the matter? Is something wrong? I was just thinking about Lord Liu Bei. My lord, perhaps this heat is getting to you? Lord Liu Bei. After the battle at Tong Gate, I found myself surrounded, and he took me in, when I had no place to go. Burdened by revenge, hatred, and with my own life in danger, I was saved from the darkness. By the light from a land of benevolence, I wish to see that land of Lord Liu Bei's vision. This desire of mine, it has changed my outlook on things. We shall carry that ambition of his into the future. When you look around, do you not think it to be so? Well said, Master Zhao Yun. Let us go forth and realize that dream. No matter what hardships may lie before us, that's the Ma Chao that I know and respect. <clears throat> Not now, not ever!